Hey, what's up, guys? Dill Games MC here. Hey, you can see my reflection right there. Not, I'm not Jace, but you can kind of see me behind it. You see me waving around. We're gonna be opening a Shadow of the Drop booster pack. Yes, I'm gonna open it with my spork because why not? Screw it. We're going in. Now we're going with the spork. The mighty DL Games MC spork that Loot Crate has provided with us and has been used ever since to open packages of all shapes and sizes. Today's Friday, April the 8th, the official release day of Shadow of the Vernus Ride. I got my fat pack at Top Deck Games. Shout out to you guys over there if you see this video. We're just gonna throw our trash back there. Here we go. Sweet. If you guys don't know what a fat pack is, it kinda just comes with all the stuff. Inside of there is the it's the same pictures on here, just elongated. If you guys don't know what a fat pack is, I'll show you what it comes with on the back. Here you go. You get a player's guide with card encyclopedia, a Shadow of the Vernestar card box, nine booster, the 70 card basic land pack, 10 double faced. Uh, oh, that's pretty cool. You get 10 of the little checklist cards. I did not know that. A spin down and then two deck boxes. Here's our booklet. Uh, you can kind of see my reflection there too. Let's see what the top 10. This that shows all the cards in the set. And here it shows they have, they show their top 10 coolest cards. Here you go. Top 10 coolest cards. Of course number one is Avison. Uh, oh wow, Thing in the Ice isn't on this. <laughs> Tricks to Decaphobia. Arlen Cord. Hot Pack Resurgence. Nahiri. And then you just get some other. I think you got some lore in here. Yeah, there's some lore. Which is pretty cool. Anyway, let's get into the goods right here. Oh, hey. I didn't know you guys could see that Mayo and my rat's nest of cords. Here we go. This box actually does look pretty cool. Let's get these two little cardboard out because we don't need that. Oh, God. Oh, God. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Get the box. Sorry about that, guys. I'm not even going to cut that out because... It's pretty amusing. Move the mayo. And here are our little boxes. Got absent on it. Do I want to set these up? Sure, why? Why not? You can always find something you want to hold in these boxes. Whether it be bulk or just have them sit around in the background of your videos to make it look cool. And soaring as well. I'm very sorry guys, I knocked the camera over. I know I'm a bad person and everything, but... Here's our two... Dang it, I got another white, a black die. All I want is a blue die. All I want is a blue shot of the Vernus Rod die. Is that too much to ask? Here is four boosters. And then our basic land pack, which I will not open because... I never open these, so I should keep them... I keep them sealed because why not in case store ever needs some for drafts which I doubt they will because stores always have enough but I just keep them just in case I'd rather have a bunch of these lying around than a bunch of just loose lands hey or a little anti theft thing I thought this came with the 10 checklist cards what happened to them did I miss them somewhere? I don't know. It doesn't really matter anyway. I don't need them. Here is our spin down. Pretty cool. We rolled a nine. No, I didn't mean to do that. Now let's open the packs. Let's see how many. We got nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Save the Jace pack for last just because. I mean, let's. I guess we'll just open them like this order. Or should we put them? I can put them back there. First pack with Soren on the front. Uh, 
Alright, let me throw the star trash over here. So I'll scroll through the uncommon. Scroll through. I'll go through the uncommon or the commons like this. Rancid rats. Here we go. Liliana's Ignite Edition. Pale Rider of Tristad. And our rare is Altered Ego. With no with a flip card of Breakneck Rider. Token thing crap go over here. Alter Ego X2 green and blue for a zero zero sh creature shapeshifter. Can't be countered. And when it enters the battlefield with a copy of any creature on the battlefield, except it enters with X additional plus one plus one counters on it. I pre release day a guy flipped thing in the ice over on me and then played this. I had two of them and I ended up winning. Don't ask me how. Over here. Let's back, back, got a little werewolf on it. Let's see what we got. The flavor of the set is just very cool all around. And they got rats, werewolves, vampires, zombies, devils, all around. Hope against hope, haunted cloak, magnifying glass, and our rare is drugs, drugs glove Calgary, with a flip card of hermit of the Natternoles. And here's drugs glove Calgary, five and two white for a creature spirit knight with flying. Never know the spirit enters the battlefield under your control. You gain two life. You get a four mana. Put a one one white spirit creature token with flying onto the battlefield, and he himself is a four four. Next up, my God, this video is going way too long. Rapid fire mode. What are good hits in this set? Or what a good card. So we can get thing in the ice, of course. Uh, Westvale Abbey. Mythics are, Planeswalkers are always cool. All Mythics are pretty cool. Planeswalkers are always, are always the best. Oh, there's a rare. There's a rare flip card. Hey. Alright, so we'll go. Our uncommon flip card was Town Gossip Monger. And then, this one is Elusive Tormator. 2-2 two, two black. Pay for, four, four, for a 4-4. Four, four, pay 1, transform it. Turns into a zero one hexproof indestructible. Can't block and can't be blocked. And whenever it attacks and isn't blocked, you may pay two in a black and then transform it again. And then our next, the other rare we got is Nephalia Moondrakes. Five and two white for five five flying. Whenever it enters the battlefield, target creature gains flying. Then you can pay four and two blue to exile it from your graveyard and creature you control gain flying. Pretty fancy. Not sure why this video is taking me so long, but it is. Sweet ox. What was the last good ox we saw? Yoked ox? What was the last good ox? I... When... Here we go. Tireless Tracker. Here's our clue token. Our flip card. There we go. Tireless Tracker is 2 in green for a 3 2 creature human scout. And um, whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, investigate. And whenever you sacrifice a clue, put a plus one plus one counter on him. How many packs do we have left? Five. Yay, my computer just decided to turn on. Avzin? Not sure if you can hear that or not. Hopefully not. Right there, you can see that my computer just randomly decided to turn on, which is amazing. And my battery's low on my camera. Great, this is a great video. Let's flip through our commons real quickly. Lightning Axe. Alright. So we got another Hermit of the Internals. Diagraph Colossus, 2 and a black for a 2-2 two -two zombie giant. And the battlefield with a plus one plus one counter for each zombie card in your graveyard. And whenever you catch a zombie spell, put a 2 2 black zombie creature token on the battlefield. Tapped. Four packs remaining. Still have not got anything good.
Hopefully that's this pack though. Avison, please. Oh, look at that. They threw a Liliana the Veil in my pack. That'd be cool. Let's see what this one is. We got a foil. And a basic land. Convicted killer. Foil flip card is always cool because you get double the amount of foil for the same amount of everything else. I don't know what I'm saying. Wow, another. We're getting these repeated like crazy. Bygone Bishop. Two in a row. Two in a white. Right, two, three. Flying Spirit Cleric. And whenever you get three spells, run back up three left. Investigate. Cool card. But probably not. Where is our good stuff, people? Hope we got the tote. Watch it click. Reckless Scholar. Port Town. Sweet, we got a land. Right there for guard. Harvest hand. We got one of the new reveal lands. The blue white one when it enters the battlefield. You know, if you're all playing there, an island card from your hand. If you don't, it enters tapped. Two packs remaining. Our best pull so far has been our basic, our, our rare land. Which, they're probably like four bucks or something, which isn't that bad. But other than that, we got other, we got complete and utter garbage. Did that like commons. Uncommon, a rare sweet. There we go. There we go. Nope, not phone. That's not what I meant. There we go. Olivia mobilized for war. One black, one, one black, and one red for a 3 3 vamp legendary creature. Vampire Knight was flying whenever another creature entered the battlefield under your control. You may discard a card. If you do, put a plus one, plus one counter on it. It gains haste until end of turn and becomes a vampire. This is a very good card. It's things like what, 13 bucks or something right now? I have another one because I opened it out of my six prize packs. They're buddies now. Life pack. You know, I think. I guess it's worth it now. We got some good cards. We got our land and also our Olivia. But, I mean, another good card would always be great. If not, well, what are you going to do about it? Ride or something? There. All. It's pretty cool artwork. Some more commons. Olivia's Blood Sworn. Rise from the Tides. Another Port Town. Sweet. Sweet. Another Port Town. I'm completely okay with that. As long as it wasn't another one of our other not as good cards. I'm not sure what Altered Ego is. I don't think it's that good. If it is, whoops. So, oh, everything almost fell. Here's our main pulls. Not bad. Probably four bucks each for the land and like 13 for Olivia. So about like 21 bucks. Which is not bad. And then we got all of these bulk cards. Oh, yeah. So, anyway, that should be all for this video, guys. Unless I come back for, like, I don't know why I would have to if I forgot to say something. I doubt it, but thanks for watching. Nice. I'd say nice pulls. What would you guys say? I'd rate it, like, probably like a 6 out of 10. Maybe 7. If it had a blue dye, it would have been 8 out of 10. Oh, no, Olivia, where are you going? I'll probably make Olivia EDH. If I do, I will update you guys on that. But anyway, before my camera dies and before this video is like 50 minutes long, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!